Hey, this is Trey Chapman for Trey's Chowdown and Fort Worth, Texas Magazine. We're riding the roads looking for the finest cuisine prepared by the finest chefs. So come along with us and let's see what we discover. Giddy up. We're here at the Clay Pigeon today with Chef Marcus Paisley. We're going to go in here and see what he's got cooking in this fabulous restaurant here in Fort Worth, Texas. So we're here today with Chef Marcus Paisley with Clay Pigeon. We're going to talk to him a little bit. So Marcus, tell me, uh, tell us a little about your history. Yeah, uh, I, I got in the business um, when I was in college, kind of cooking around in some restaurants. And then I uh, went to the Culinary Institute of America up in Hyde Park, New York. And then from there, uh, my wife and I kind of traveled all over the country. So New York, Alaska, Seattle, uh, up in the mountains of Colorado near Vail and Breckenridge. Um, Hawaii? Were you in Hawaii? Spent a little time in Hawaii. Yeah. And, uh, I yeah. <laughs> so, so it was pretty fun. So I got a, you know, kind of a diverse uh, a range of, of cuisines from all sure. over the country. You know, anywhere from hotels to, to small restaurants. So that's kind of the background. But I'm a Tarrant County boy, uh, so when it was time to settle down and put in some roots, you know, Fort Worth was the only choice. So, uh, so here we are. Good. And so what gave you the inspiration for Clay Pigeon? Clay Pigeon is, you know, it's a neighborhood restaurant of sorts. Um, and then, you know, I wanted to take a little bit of everything I learned from all over the country and, and bring it back to the hometown. Um, you know, I want to bring that type of food and that type of seasonal cuisine and, and from scratch cuisine back to Fort Worth. Seasonal cuisine, you do that, how many often do you change your menu? Two or three times? Well, our menu changes quite a bit. Yeah. You know, uh, our, I like to say it's sort of an evolving menu. So we're definitely keeping within the four seasons of the year, okay. but within those seasons, uh, several items on the menu will change several times. So, you know, give or take eight different menus a year. So that's fantastic. Yeah. So it's always something different for people. They can come back and try something new all the time. Right, right. And it's very market driven. So whatever is of quality in season uh, and at the right price for us, it will uh, we'll buy and we'll find a spot for it on the menu and and uh, and go from there. That's fantastic. And obviously we can see in the background, you've got great wines. You yeah. do wine, got great wine pairings. Yeah, the wine pairings work out, work out pretty well. Um, that does its job. I taste the temperature of that winery. That's where I, if it's in the summer, that's where I spend my time. Just <laughs> set me a table up right in there. That's a nice spot during <laughs> the summertime, right. no doubt about it. Right. <laughs> so you all are going to cook up some dishes and we're going to try those next. Sure, sure. Sounds good to all me. Right, great. Uh, Thanks. All right, Marcus, so y'all went back to the kitchen busy. Yeah, so let's, let's, go, let's go through what we got here. Sure, sure. We have some of our uh, fan favorites on the table here. So uh, a couple of dishes have been with us for a while, and, and the rest of the menu kind of changes over quite a bit, like we talked about earlier. But this is our spinach salad with house-made bacon, okay. fresh farm eggs, some tomatoes, sherry vinaigrette, a little, little red onion on that. Uh, our flatbreads, which change up quite a bit. Um, of course, in-house dough. This one's made with pork sausage, Broccolini and uh, and mozzarella cheese. I was watching you make it. Shade that cheese just made That's me hungry. Yeah. <laughs> and then the bone marrow, uh, love it or hate it, it's a you know it's one of those things. I yeah. personally love it. Yeah. Uh, but there's no in between. Either people you love it or hate yeah. it. People love it or hate yeah, it. But crazy. but either way, it's a topic of conversation, and, and sure. people come in for it. Uh, sure. So so it's a great dish. House made sourdough, uh, cured fennel, parsley salad. Great great great. And then the beast here is um, that's a that's a braised pork shank. So that that dish right there takes us about four hours to make. And then um, creamy polenta on the bottom, arugula, parmesan, dehydrated tomato. And then we take the juice that we braise that shank in. We reduce it all the way down to a sauce and pour that over top of everything. Awesome. It sets it off just right. And then you Perfect. can't have dinner without dessert. That's right. So, <laughs> so we got our our chocolate staple. My favorite. Your favorite. Our chocolate staples. Uh, it's, it's made with Avoca coffee, which is local coffee roaster. Okay. Yeah, there are local. That's yeah. good. Yeah. Um, and then chocolate, and uh, we call it our chocolate and coffee pot of creme. 
uh, with a little whipped cream on top and mint from the garden. And that's it. Perfect. Yeah. Well, let's 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 eat. Let's get after All it. All right. <laughs> So Marcus, you grow a lot of your own herbs, which is awesome. So tell me what you got here. Yeah, so we got this great patio, uh, a lot of sun coverage. So we're able to grow a lot of different stuff, uh, all the herbs, tomatoes during the summer, some peppers here and there. Uh, but right now we, we've got some basil over there. We've got thyme and chives here. We've got some lemongrass here, which smells great. Um, of course, parsley. Oh, it smells good. And then, and then one of my favorites, lavender. Uh, I know. You just come out here and rub your hands. <laughs> I know. It smells great. <laughs> Everybody's going to love me tonight. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. So it, it works out pretty well. I mean, it's a, it's a beautiful atmosphere and, and, you know, we utilize a lot of this stuff, which is, you know, cheaper for That's, me than, yeah. than buying it. But from it's the fresher store. for the customer. And fresher for the customer. Marcus, thanks for having us out today. I really appreciate it. You know, Trey, we really appreciate you coming out to Clay Pigeon. Uh, had fun showing you around. Visit us on claypigeonfd.com. It's got all the social media links. And a uh, little TX whiskey for the end of the show. Cheers. Yes, yeah. Yes, sir. Thank you. You bet. Thank you. This is Trey Chapman for Trey's Chowdown in Fort Worth Magazine, fwtx.com. Please find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Until next time, thank you, Chowhounds. Adios. The lights are on, <laughs> I feel like but I'm nobody's home. <laughs> Seasonal squazine. You guys toast your glasses, and then you just take just one step back. Exit, exit stage left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is Trey Chapman for Trey's Chowdown in Fort Worth Magazine, FWD. Oh, shit. <laughs> I can make a blooper reel, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you, you'll have plenty of that yeah. footage. Well, the people love that, too. Yeah. Well, when, when I heard uh, Trey was going to get a TV show, I said, well, the editing department is going to get overtime on this one. <laughs> 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 This, this is Trey Chapman for Fort Worth. <laughs> hey. It's all right. Start it again. All right. There you go. You ready? Yep. All right. This is Trey Chapman for. <laughs> Whoa! Stop! Stop! But let me turn around and come back real quick. <laughs> He's not doing very good. Put the pass. I want to.